We just want to know if y'all gonna hit that subscribe button or wait, cuz. Do it. You scrolled on this video to do it. Right. They better hit that bell, too. Oh, like that. Okay, you need to calm down. They already did it. Let's get into the video. Bring it down. Hey you guys, welcome to or welcome back to my channel. It is your girl, your bitch, your home skillet biscuit, Simplicity, and today we are back with another episode of Love and Basketball. So I have officially, officially moved in Kyla's best friend. And uh, you guys, she is still so, so, so sad, of course, because her mother just recently passed, which was actually like yesterday, so yeah of course she's still very upset so she they just got back from school and her you know friend is upstairs in the bed crying we got them little bunk beds and everything like that and right now i'm gonna invite over demario which is kyla's little crush and probably have her chat with him for a little bit and everything just you know try to boost their relationship before she becomes a teen or before she you know moves away so yeah, because we are planning to move to L.A. You guys voted, and that is probably going to be the best decision for them since it will open a lot of, you know, opportunities and everything. And it'll give Lauren, like, a fresh start, a fresh scene, everything to get away from. So, yeah. But let's go ahead and get into this LP. All right? Let's do it. So, where is the Mario? I need to go ahead and invite him over. Our friendship is kind of low, so I'm gonna invite him to hang out at the current lot. <laughs> Lauren is going to pee now. I guess she's done crying. If she even cried, wait, did she? Was she able to cry? Let me see. I might have to um, I might have to move this because I don't think it let her go cry because. What she? Get? Oh yeah, she can't get over there. So hold on, let me go ahead and edit that real quick and get rid of those. All right, I had to take off everything, y'all, but it's okay because we're about to move soon, so I don't really care. I'm going to have her finish crying. Did Demario say if he was coming over or what? Demario will be right over. So, is he here? Let me see. Oh, shoot. That's him over there, I think. Yeah. No, that's Latoya. I guess she brought him over. And... This is Kyla. Okay, so Kyla was going to go get something to eat, but they go to Mario, girl. You might want to go ahead and speak to him. So let's beg for emblem. I think he's in like the scouts. So if he gives her his emblem, then you know it's real. <laughs> I'm going to compliment his personality. He's angry, so I need to try to calm him down. I'm going to try to calm him down. See, y'all, look. He don't like me now. Uh -uh. Wait, 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 wait. When she begged for the emblem, it made him not like her. He said, why would I just hand you one of my emblems? Earn your own, loser. I'm hurt because of the fact that we already had a connection. We already had a connection. <gasps> why is he so mean? Uh, I thought this was going to be the one for her. He making it hard for her. Girl, you making it hard for me. <laughs> like, I finna set you on fire. Let me see. Um, I'm gonna have Lori come down here and try to, you know, talk to both of them and everything. Just chat. Let's. Oh, wait. Lori likes to steal? I'm gonna ask <laughs> um, Ky Kyla about her prized possessions. And I'm gonna come down here. No, Lauren doesn't know him. So we're gonna do a little sad introduction. Yeah. Really and you guys know what's funny? Lauren and Demario yeah. might have a lot of things in common compared to Kyla and Demario. Even though I want Kyla to, um, you know, be his little boo thing in the future. It might not turn out that way, unfortunately, because Demario, he's adopted and he lost his mother as well. And I feel like those are things that him and... Uh, him and Lauren will be able to talk about, whereas Kyla can't really relate. Let me um boost her bladder. All right, so they all outside chilling and everything. I'm gonna have them come sit over here. 
probably have Kyla come try to join the conversation. Get back on her crush good side. All right, let me see what's going on. You guys, I just looked at his um thing because I started controlling him. Why it say that he wants to call Kyla ugly? Kyla is not ugly. Why are you being so mean to her? Uh-uh. All right, you guys. So I pretty much got the kids, little interactions filled up. So hopefully they'll be talking for a little hot minute. Uh, Dion, how is he feeling? Did he need to go to work? Uh, his fitness skill is up. He's already completed studying opponents. So I'm going to still have him come up here and just, you know, play a little bit so he can practice some more and get his skill up a little higher. So I'm going to have him shoot around. And uh, Ebony, I'm going to have her. What is she doing? Not the butler over here. Th no, did the dog just run under the butler? <laughs> Y'all, that is too real. That's a little too real for me. So, I'm going to have Ebony try to get to know Cashew a little bit more and keep on building her relationship with him. We're going to offer friendship. We're going to play with him. Friendly play. Then I'm going to pet. Okay, why she look? She was like, okay, hold up now. <laughs> like, she was scared. All right, so it looks like Kyla is building her friendship back up with Demario, which is good. Because, y'all, like I said, I want that to be her little crush in the future. Maybe her little boyfriend in the future. But right now, the only way that's going to work is if they actually like each other. So, uh, discuss vocals. Oh, Oh, okay, so they all over here building their little friendship up and everything. And uh, Lauren is still very depressed. She wants to hug someone from being sad. I'm going to have her try to hug DeMario and see what happens. Kyla might feel a way about it. I don't know. But I'm going to have Kyla be like, Yeah, I understand that you're going through a lot, you know. So, you know. I understand why you love him, but you, you know I have a couple. <laughs> She's like, Kyla, are you serious? I would never do anything like that to you. You're my best friend. I'm just going through a hard time right now, and I needed someone. So I'm going to, uh, what can I do now? I'm going to exchange my blue dog already knows that. Chupa. Y'all, Kyla said bump them. She went and got her something to eat. <laughs> she don't even care no more. She like, it is what it is. If he gonna act funny, then let him act funny, okay? <laughs> she just <laughs> running past herself with her plate of food. <laughs> she cleaning up, I guess. So, Dion and Ebony are already up here trying to woohoo. They always be trying to do something somewhere. Y'all, they not even in private. They literally up here in pup. You know what? All right, you guys, so it's been like a day or two in game, and we're just going to skip over that. Nothing much really happened except for I did get the girls' room a little makeover. So Lauren has officially moved in. All of her things have been moved in with her, and I can't wait for you guys to see that room. I also formed a little mom's club, so Ebony can, you know, just have a club with other mothers that she can hang out with, chill with, invite over, watch some reality TV with, and just gossip about things mothers just need some time to get with other mothers and have a good time or people who aren't mothers <laughs> have a good time so real quick i'm gonna give you guys a little tour of the girls room i hope y'all like it because i freaking love it all right when i say love i love it all right so let's go for the show y'all all right, so of course you already know you go in the little doors. The doors haven't changed, but <clears throat> all right. So I don't know why all the ladies hanging out, all the moms are hanging out in the girls' room, but y'all gonna have to get out of here. This <laughs> this not y'all's spot. So currently they got Finding Dory on TV. All right, I didn't change nothing over here. That's still the same with the little dress up area. But anyways, you walk in. You got two little beanbag chairs over here. You got a K right here for Kyla. You got an L right here for Lauren. 
over here got this hanging up on the wall very cute got kyla's little basketball up there lauren is in the bed i don't know if she's taking a nap or if she's crying or what she's been very emotional for the past few days so you know it, i understand she did lose a mother so yeah but y'all what i did find out was lauren she actually has a father in the world and i did not know that she has a father in the world and he invited her to come over i was like who is this invited her over this grown man but when we got there because i had took her because i was like is this her dad or something so i traveled with ebony and lauren i took both of them over there and yes that was definitely her dad but her dad is not financially you know fit enough to really take care of her so he's gonna be letting lauren stay with us until she you know grows up and finishes high school because right now she's just in middle school so she's gonna go to high school she's gonna live with us and everything and he's gonna be paying a child support i will still have lauren go visit her dad and everything though just you know so they can keep their family relationship strong but this is their little bunk bed area and everything we got the little pet bed for our doggy and just some little posters because y'all know how little girls be like oh my god he's so cute blah 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 and they have a crush on like every little celebrity boy or anybody so yeah that's they look um justin bieber <laughs> I got these little bins from Ravishing and I, you know what, I'm just gonna say that the pink one has Lauren's stuff in it and the gray one has Kyla's stuff in it. So they're probably just gonna use these when they get ready to move because they will be moving in a few days. So they're probably just gonna pack up whatever they can take with them and put it in this bin. I'm gonna put it in the family inventory and call it a day. Now, what I do love about this area over here, y'all, is be this is where Kyla comes to film her YouTube videos. She stands right here in front of this camera. She films her videos and in the future, I'll make it to where she can edit. I don't know why I can't edit videos right now um I, I guess i'm not putting the pieces together properly but yes this is so cute you guys and i really oh, really love their room boy, makeover boy. so i'm gonna have ebony invite her girls downstairs to watch some reality tv with her she shouldn't be watching this by herself because she ready to get the f out after this all right so let me see, um, I see this thing and just got, oh my God, this thing is just so funny to me. So let me see if they can come over real quick and we gonna watch this together. I can't invite them to watch TV. Hold up. <laughs> I think we gonna watch a movie together. So I'ma see if I can get them to watch a movie real quick. Let me see, uh, we're gonna watch, so rock it. <laughs> We go watch girls trip together. Let me see. Uh Tiffany and Ashley and Kim. This is actually Dion's sister, y'all, and she's in the mom group as well. So <clears throat> Lauren is still very depressed, as you guys can see. I also wanted to try to like have like a little mental health place that she could go to, you know, maybe talk to a therapist or something like that. But We'll see what happens. We'll see if it's possible. I really hope that she can start back feeling better, you know. So, I'm going to do whatever I can to cheer her up. I don't want to cheat. Okay, wait, wait, wait. It says, not ready for goodbye. Talking about missing a loved one has made Lauren feel sad about the loss. Of loss in the family from losing a parent. It's hard to see those closest to us pass away. Lauren can find some solace by mourning at a tombstone or urn. All right. And it looks like they came down here to watch me. Wait, wait, wait. Photography is terrible. Ashley does not seem to be having a good time. Should she gain the dislikes photography preference? No, girl. What? Don't be asking me all that. So we got them down here chilling. Source subject. Dion has been feeling some tightness today during the warm-up before the big game. Should he check in with the trainer or just play on her? Of course, we're going to see the trainer because we're not trying to mess Dion's body up, all right? We're trying to have him move up his career, all right? We need him to move up his career, so C trainer wait performance loss the trainer feels playing the game would be a poor choice and makes Dion sick the team loses she, if two plus two is four right and five plus five is ten okay what the fuck is this how is that 
that my fault. Still better than suffering a worse injury. Y'all would have lost regardless. I was going to be on the bench. But <laughs> I'm a rookie, you know. But, you know, I guess I guess they let me get in the game or whatever. But, yeah, performance loss. That's not right. I don't like that. I feel like we should have definitely gained performance because we chose not to play on that hurt leg. So, I'm going to have Lauren go ahead and get through eating. And then, what time is it? Eight? Her hygiene is pretty good. Y'all. Y'all, this not finna, these likes and dislikes, they not finna be popping up every minute like that. I can't deal with that. Eddie is sweaty and sure, she dislikes it. Okay, cool, whatever. Oh my gosh, that is irritating. I think I'm gonna have Kyla do is come over here and film some YouTube videos. I know her energy is pretty low, but I still need her to make some videos because, like, I want her to be able to edit it and everything. I want her to also be able to finally just, you know, come up, start doing what she gotta do. And I know a lot of y'all said that when she becomes a teen, y'all want her to, like, kind of start doing her own little thing and introducing herself well making a name for herself that's basically what y'all want and that's what i want as well so oh i need to color this back in so that's why i have her recording her little videos let me turn this light on turn on what i'm gonna do is turn off the room lights because i feel like that's throwing off the little filter effect i guess that i want her to have so turn off this light okay yeah there we go good Storm your room, Yes, Kyla. Okay, and Dion just got home, which is great. His hygiene is good, so that's good. What Dion needs to do is actually come in here and study his opponents, but since they got the TV, I'm going to have him go say hey to his sister because he don't really talk to her as much as he used to. So I'm going to, wait, happy vlog video. We're going to name this uh, My Bestie is Living with Me. <laughs> uh, we're gonna uh, put the description as the reason why isn't good, but I'm glad she's here. Boom! All right, so we made a video about our best friend, and I think I'm gonna have Ebony. I want her to go ahead and end the group, but I want Dion to go talk to his sister first. So where is she? Right here. Ruskanlampima, Muchi Pichi. All right, so then he go talking to his sister, you know, catching up with the family. I'm asking her how the family is. And Ebony, I'm going to have Ebony go ahead and end this little <laughs> gathering that they got going on because, baby, you got other stuff to do. You can't be chilling with them all day. So we're going to end this little gathering. Moms United is officially <laughs> ununiting. <laughs> and Kyla is heading to bed. All right. What's wrong with Cashew? What's wrong? I should have had the girls actually go call him. To, wait, what is that sound? What was that sound? I don't like that. I don't like that at all. What was that sound? Y'all, what was that? Oh, girl, what you watching? Oh, she watching Halloween now. Sis turned that movie off. She must not like that one. All right, so her energy is pretty low as well. So, I'm going to have Ebony go ahead and come up here and go to bed. So, Ebony is headed to bed. Oh, wait. She didn't even say nothing to Dion. All right, so Dion over here trying to make shit on the grill. I don't know why he's trying to do all this right now. Let me see. Uh... All right, I'm going to have Dion go ahead and get in the bed as well since everybody else is asleep. It's 11. I feel like it's kind of early, but it is what it is because tomorrow we got stuff to do. I want to have them go, you know, kind of say goodbye, hang out with their friends and family and stuff like that because then they're going to be packing up for the next episode and everything so they can you know get ready to move and i'm gonna let y'all pick the house of course as well to see which one y'all feel like will be best for them to move to so yeah because i do want to start decorating it and everything and i want to put the own little you know their own little personal style and touches on it i don't want their house to be too big because lord i hate having to decorate something that's like so freaking huge but at the same time i don't want it to be 
you know, too small because he does play for the Lakers, you know. So I feel like it would make sense for them to have a well-sized home, you know, even if it's not a mansion. Maybe to be like a little mini mansion or something like that. Y'all, look at their room. Look, they have the best room. I think their room is my favorite. And first, um, the top. Wait, who stole my TV? Oh, I was finna say, I know damn well. <laughs> Why did my TV go missing then? When I did that, that's so weird. All right, but at first I was going to say, I think that Hayden has the best room, y'all. But uh -uh. Hayden ain't got nothing compared on Lauren and Kyla. Their room is so cute. And I got Kyla some extra cameras right here and a little speaker if they want to listen to music. I also got them an alarm clock. Got a little fishy. So... We love to see it, all right? Dion reached his level two herbalism skill. I'm just not looking at that. Uh, wait, where's Kyla going? Girl, what you going up for? I know you're not fully rested. What she got up for? I want to know why she got up. Hold on. Let me see. Uh, Is it because the dog keep barking? Let me ask him what's wrong. What's wrong, Cashew? And then I'm going to play with him a little bit. I'm going to get to know him because, once again, this is Lauren's dog. But Lauren is a part of our family now. So, Lauren, this is my dog, too. So, if you got a problem with me touching your dog, then I got a problem with you sleeping in that bed. Okay? Wait, so he needs some love and attention. All right, so let me go on and do what I got to do. I'm going to talk to him a little bit. Who else is up? Is that the butler? Butler, go to bed. She never goes to sleep. She's always up. I feel like my butler just needs a break. So what I'm going to try to do is see if I can get her to go to sleep. Because this butler is constantly working, y'all. I think it's so funny because at the beginning, everybody, not everybody, but just like a few people were like, oh, the butler's bad. We hate the butler. But the majority of you guys, like a bunch of you guys, were like, the butler's hilarious. Keep the butler. But y'all, real talk, the butler works her ass off. Wait, can, can Kyla not click the butler? I think that's real weird. Why is that? Oh, Alright, so it sounds like Hayden is up and Hayden's hunger is really low. Y'all, I want to make sure I take care of Hayden's um, hunger because lately my toddlers have been dying. Like, all my toddlers in my game have just been dying. So Hayden is coming in here to play with Lauren, which is so adorable. She woke up and went to go look for her big sister. Girl, don't come in here crying because you know you're going to, not Lauren, but Kyla. Don't come in here crying because you know you're going to wake her up. So watch, get, look, she already getting up. Let me see, Uh, what's wrong with her? So she need to grab a drink. I'm going to have her go, wait, she already going to get something to drink. All right, good. You guys, I'm going to have Ebony go ahead and get up and try to take care of Hayden a little bit. I want to see if it's still broken to where I can't give her a bath because she really, really needs a bath. But I feel like it is in this house because, like I told y'all, when she goes to her grandparents' house, she can bathe perfectly fine. But when she is here at her own house, oh no, ma'am. So let me see. I'm going to give Hayden a bubble bath. Can I give her a bubble bath? We'll see. It always reset right here. Y'all, she keeps saying that she can't get to the tub. But the tub is literally right here in an open space. And it's not because it's a CC tub. Because, look, it does the same thing with a regular tub. I'm going to show y'all. Look. All right, y'all, so I just bought a little regular-ass tub that comes with the cane. And I'm going to try to give her a... I'm going to see if I could just give her a regular bag. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I think I can give her a bag, just not a bubble bag. Let me see. Yo, what the hell? I have tried to give this girl a bubble bag since the beginning of this LP. Since the beginning of this LP, I tried with CC tubs, with non CC tubs, and it would not work. I'm not kidding. I'm not kidding. What the hell? This is the first bad Hayden has had 
<laughs> Since she's big. Oh my god. Oh my god. What the hell? This is her first badge. You know what? We need to get a picture of this just in case it'll never happen again. <laughs> if it never happens again, we got a picture of her getting her very first badge in the middle of the hallway. That's right. We moved the tub outside <laughs> so she could get a badge. That's a damn shame. So, Mommy and Hayden is up right now. She's getting her little badge. She just got through. <laughs> Finally, damn, let me see. Okay, so I'm going to check with my other CC tubs and see if those are broken. And if so, then I might have to just update them. But let me see. Because I don't think so. That just don't make sense to me because all my Sims have been using the CC tubs perfectly fine. Or it could just be because this stuff over here, but I don't know. All right, so we're going to give Hayden a bubble bed. This is CC to pack your own limb lock. What the hell, y'all? What? I guess my CC tubs aren't broken either, though. Maybe it's just that tub that was broken. You know what? That's fine. We can replace that. That's okay. So I'm going to move this bathtub back in here. And Hayden is going to go ahead and go in her room. Probably play with her toys. Let's have her play in the ball pit. At 3 a.m. And mom is just getting some food. Is this? Mm. Oh, okay. I was going to say, is this spoiled? But it's not, which is good. Matter of fact, I think I'm going to go ahead and take that mod out just in case, y'all, because I don't want no more of my Sims waking up no, to go shower. All right, you guys, so we are back in game, and Ebony is, <laughs> you know, still Ooh, up. Horrible. So I'm going to have her go ahead and go to sleep, and I want her to make sure that she's sleeping all the way until it is time to get up. So before I even have her just walk up here, let me have her teleport over here. And I'm going to have her go to sleep right there. I don't even see her. I was going to say, girl, not her being lost. Wait, she didn't even teleport. Like I said, you know what? Ghetto. And I'm going to have Hayden go ahead and get... <laughs> Hayden, get out that ball pit. Go ahead and get out the ball pit. And I'm going to have Hayden go ahead and go to sleep. So, um, tomorrow I know that I need to have Ebony go ahead and check in at a bar club or lounge because I did not do that like I was supposed to. Y'all, it's 4 a.m. and the sun is literally about to freaking rise. Somewhere over here, the sun is about to rise. But, uh, yeah, it's getting bright as hell for 4 a.m. <laughs> but it is what it is, you know. Um, Hayden, where you at? You been in bed? All right, good. She looks so peaceful. All right. Okay, so Kyla just got up. Why is Kyla getting up? Uh, She's still sleepy. So her and Lauren just got up. But why is that? Wait, what's going on? Scared a monster from seeing a monster under the bed? Oh, shit. I didn't even notice that. Y'all, you know what? I think it's so cool how when you click the kids, the kids can see the monster. But when you click the adults, like right now i'm in the adult well or the baby nobody else can see the monsters except for the kids so that's a little addition that i do like that the sims team added i think that's very fire all right so her energy is not completely filled but it's up enough so what i'm gonna have kyla do is once again go ahead back over here and record some youtube videos this is her thing this is what she wants to do she already feels like she knows what she wants to do okay she's a sim tuber so we're gonna go ahead and record another video and this time we're gonna let's review some let's review some gadgets all right we're going to review the Apple Watch. And uh, Lauren. Oh, girl, you right there by the monster. You need to just go ahead and go to the bathroom. Matter of fact, you need to fill up Cashew's bowl for when he wakes up. And you need to go to the restroom. So, yes. Let's go ahead and we're going to poop. Oh, wait, 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 wait. What a rush this booster. Look, y'all, this is what I'm telling y'all. Like, I'm happy that we got dislikes and likes. But, y'all, tell me why they keep popping up every 
freaking like five minutes like for every sam that i play with it's not that deep i can pick them later okay calm down yes he likes fitness damn <laughs> don't keep doing it so lauren go ahead and go to the bathroom i'm gonna just have her go ahead and take a little morning poop and kyla i'm gonna have her finish filming her video of course and who else is up just lauren really because everybody else is asleep still so i'm gonna let them go ahead and get through doing what they gotta do hey baby girl you got a bonnet on and you got slippers on and you looking like what the shoot y'all i just realized <laughs> kyla just filmed that whole video in a bonnet <laughs> she don't give a f oh my god she does not care at all she don't get no fuck she just filmed that whole video in a bonnet so um let's see we're gonna name this apple watch and series six review new watch who this all right <laughs> so we got that filmed already and can we go ahead and take this to the video in, uh to the more views video station i don't have that yeah i don't have the little um but i can view this video inventory and i can put the videos on me no i can't put them on me damn that sucks can i edit them over here no i can't damn that's that hurt Okay, so Cashew woke up and started eating his food already. And Lauren is still moping around, of course, because she's sad about loss in the family. So, yeah, understandable. But, girl, you know what? You probably you probably hit a leg. Like, you came up low-key. Like, of course it's sad your mother died. Of course, like, your parents are gone. That's not cool. Your parents are gone. But... You came to a more richer lifestyle. You know what I mean? So, it is currently 6.57 a.m. I'm going to have her go ahead and get dressed for school. So, we're going to change outfit. And we're going to wear... What do I want her to wear today? Matter of fact, wear this one. That's cute. And I'm going to have Kyla get dressed for school as well. And I'm going to have her put on... Oh, they could both wear like the little pink crop. But you know you can't wear no crop top at school. Mmm... These are so cute, though. You know what? I think I'm going to have Kyla wear this, the little purple. Okay, boom. And somebody needs to pick up their clothes because, baby, it's not going to be me. So, uh, Kyla, take this to the hamper because Lauren, I don't think Lauren would be that type of girl anyway. Lauren seems like the type that would, like, make a mess. She's just really rebellious. And before she, wait, wait, what's wrong with him? What's the sad face up here? Uh, do we have enough time to play with him? Are our knees good? Our knees do look good. So let me see. Um, I'm gonna have her go pet him, girl. That's your dog. You gotta take care of your dog. You done brought him to this house. You're not gonna take care of him. Oh no, ma'am. <laughs> we gonna play with him, and then we're going to offer friendship. I seen that option. Wait, offer friendship. Offer friendship. Yes. All right, and then Kyla, you could go downstairs and probably get like some cereal or something. So let me have her go get something to eat before school. Matter of fact, we're just going to get some leftovers. Wait, we can't? Oh, we can't. Okay, good. So we're going to get some leftovers. And I'm going to have Ebony go when she gets up to the little bar or whatever. Matter of fact, Ebony, you can go ahead and wake up. You can go ahead and take a little quick shower and go to the bathroom because you need to take care of yourself before you head anywhere, boo. So let's have you go ahead and use, actually I should have did poop because it's morning time. And then we're gonna go ahead and take a quick shower. And then we're going to come over here and get dressed up, put on our drip and Let's see. What outfit I want her to wear today? I want her to wear that one. Oh, Lord. She sounds terrible in that bathroom. So, Lauren, she looks good. Now it's time for her to go to school. Is she offering friendship? Uh, 
Okay, okay. So Lauren is headed off to school. Y'all, I want to get them like some little backpacks, CC, to put on them for when they go to school. I think that'll be so fire. <laughs> and Kyla is washing her plate up that she just used. Even though we got a butler, my sis still got manners, okay? So don't play with her. And I don't know who had this plate, but they damn sure didn't clean up. You know, I think Ebony had that plate. And she left it there. Where her dirty ass? <laughs> All right, so Ebony is coming out the bathroom. She's through showering. She's, oh, Lord, not these shoes being on her at CC. I'm going to have to go through and do a back fix on that because I do not want them CCs showing up in the shower and none of that, all right? None of it. So now that Ebony is completely dressed, I'm going to have her spray on a little perfume. And then we're going to get ready to head out to the little club, bar, or lounge just so we could check in and do whatever we have to do all right so let me have her put on some perfume oh Wendy Hayden get up she came in right there mama <laughs> you know what I'm gonna have to have Dion take care of you because mama finna go all <laughs> right so I'm gonna see y'all when we get to whatever bar we choose to go to all right all right, you guys, so we just got here to this little bar with Ebony, and I guess I'm going to have her check in over here if she can. It looks like all of the chairs are missing, so what I'm going to do is go ahead and add a few chairs to these tables because, child, how do you supposed to have a good little time if they can't even sit down? Make it make sense, but okay. <laughs> so, y'all, give me like a few minutes, and I'll be right back. It will be like no time for y'all at all. All right, you guys. So I did fix tables and chairs. And Karina came here with Ebony. So I'm going to have Ebony talk to her a little bit. If you guys don't remember, Karina was also at the club the night that Eon. Not Eon. It has been Eon's. But Karina was also at the club that night that Dion decided to go home with Lyric and cheat with, you know her so yeah but Larry came back to the club the next day and told the girls everything so even though Karina who is friends with Ebony but she's not like really good friends with Ebony so she doesn't even know that Ebony is married let alone to Dion but she's just gonna be doing her normal little gossiping, her normal little gossiping, and we'll see what happens, y'all. <laughs> I'm gonna have Ebony come do what she gotta do. She didn't come in for the drama. She came here to, you know, check in and do what she had to do for her job. So let me have her go ahead, go over here, try to see if we can find some people. I hope it's some people up in this thing. Let me see. We only have him up there really right now. And he's just doing what he got to do, which is just play the music. So, are we going to have any visitors pop up? Let me see. Can I interview her? Friendly. More choices. Waga Fruit. All right. So, I'm going to interview her. And then after that, I'm going to try to see if I can check in. Wait, wait, wait. Bro. Get out of here. <laughs> mm -hmm. mm. Alright, so she's interviewing her. Let me see if she could check into this place. We just got $2,500. I'm pretty sure that's because Ebony. Oh, wait, wait, wait. So that's how she checked in. That's how she checks in by interviewing. So work for Ebony starts in about one hour. What would you like for her to do? You know what? I think. Wait, I can't. Just take a pee. Like a pee day. I got to call in sick. Come on, call in sick. I guess. All right. Oh, wait. That's because I don't have any more um, vacation days. Damn, I use all <laughs> vacation days up. Lord, she up here pretending to be sick. Oh, my gosh. I hope she don't get fired or demoted, y'all. Her career is going really well. Really, really well. So that's the last thing I need to happen. Uh, who is this? Let me go say hey to her. Because she dressed nice. Eileen Brinson. Okay, Eileen. Eileen is just real snazzy. I'm going to go say hello. What's up? How you doing? Hey, girl. You trying to be friends? I need more friends that's, like, pretty like me. 
So, I'm going to have them three go in here, probably sit, get some drinks. If she want to join us for drinks, she can. If she don't, she don't. It is what it is. So, I'm going to go ahead. Oh, wait. Is there a bartender here that I can order from? Yes. This is the mixologist on duty. So, let me see. No. Can I order, though? No. I guess she, she was taking a little break. <laughs> she was taking a little breaky break. She back now, though. So, can I order? Yes. Okay, so I'm going to order drinks for the group. And I'm going to get us some... What I want to get us? Ooh, some screwdrivers. We're going to be a little tipsy. Yes. A little tipsy and gossiping. Oh, wait. She miserable because it's a heat wave in the sun. Let me get them inside. Because she is burning to death. Let me get them inside. Please do. Go. Go, go inside. Y'all crazy. This is a nice little bar. I like this. Hmm. All right, that's ours. This our screwdriver. Yes. Wait, no, no, no. I <laughs> thought it was. Got my ass. Oh. What's that heartbreak? What's that heartbreak symbol for? What's she trying to say? What happened? So, I'm going to drink this one. No, she got that one, I guess. Wait, where the second one? Mm, I ordered two. I wanted one for all of us, not just her. Where's mine? Okay, well, I guess she's just getting drunk. Let me see if I can order me a drink. Order drink. I'm going to order. I want a screwdriver, too. So, let me see. Um, I'm going to go over here and get a screwdriver. And let's see. Uh, okay, so it looks like all the people are showing up now. People trying to come out to the club. All right, so okay, what's this mood lid? What is that? Grown is sexy vibes, GNS. Whether if you go home or a date, these vibes will help you have a long lasting relationship. Relationships will grow faster in a few babies. Oh, and a few babies just might be wanted while on this lot. It gives a lot buffs and random buffs about sex, pregnancy, marriage, and love. Ooh, Parents Magazine from talking about the new Parents Magazine. Emily is happy to, sh happy to share what she learned by surfing on a forum for parents. I can't wait to share those information to other Sims. Overheating, girl, that's all we got you inside. You're good now. Clean hands, energizing decor. Wait, 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 wait. From pink lotion hair treatment. Oh, yes. Emily loves how soft and silky their hair has been feeling. It's the bundles, girl. You can thank me later. <laughs> right? And Emily up here smelling like vanilla. Okay, that's good. She smells good. So, I'm going to have her and Karina talk for a little bit, y'all. And drink for a little bit. And, yeah.
called you up to let you know your man been messing around. He been messing around. I guess he didn't know you at all. Cause he swam in my DM. Now that nigga drowning. Yeah. But I got a plan to devise. We gon' fuck up his life. Oh. All we need is your phone and some time. Boy, you don't know that we know about you. you All right, you guys. So Ebony and Karina talked for a little bit, and Karina told Ebony about the baller or whatever that came in a few weeks ago and smashed one of the girls and dropped some racks in the club you know so ebony you know now she knows that dion had went out a few weeks ago and he's been hiding this secret from her for a while now it's been probably like three four weeks maybe five shit maybe it's been like a month <laughs> Like, and he ain't told her, babe, I cheated on you or nothing. So, I'm going to have Ebony go ahead and head home and see what she's going to do or just pace around or whatever until Dion gets home so she can finally confront him. All right? So, we're going to see what pops off, what happens. Pray for it. You know, pray for Dion, y'all, because he's going to need all the prayer he could get. Because Ebony is not about to play with him. She don't take ish slightly, okay? So, we'll see what happens, y'all. Is she hungry? Is she hungry? No excuse, baby. We got baby. We know about you. Alright you guys, so Ebony just got back home and Dion is not home yet. She is currently furious and down here it says anger bomb. Ebony is failing to control her emotions. In short order, she'll explode in a fit of rage and then quickly settle back down. So she's going to be pretty angry for I guess about 52 minutes as it said. I'm going to have her go inside and just chill, try to relax and calm down, you know, talk to the mirror some. And then we're going to ask Dion before we accuse him, even though we already know, <laughs> like you, me, she, he, we already know. <laughs> but I am going to have her go calm down, talk to herself in the mirror, like maybe it's another Dion. She didn't say his last name, so, you know, maybe it's another Dion. But I'm going to... Have her go try to calm down. It's currently hot outside. But she looks good even though she mad as hell, y'all. <laughs> She's still fine. Like, I would hate to come home to that. So, we gonna see. We gonna see. Dion to be home in like, what time? Ooh, and he might get a promotion today. Not him getting it. Oh Lord. Not him get found out on his promotion day. Lord, we finna see. <laughs> Let me uh hit save because this drama, this drama, honey. I love it. I love it. But you know what? I'm glad that Dion did stop when he did because Lord Ebony probably would have. Oh Lord, I don't even know. But we gonna see. So as you guys can see, Ebony is up here trying to calm down. I don't know why Kyla just chilling in her room. But you know what? I'm going to have Kyla hang out in her mama room. Probably ask her like, Mom, what's wrong? You seem so mad. Let me see. 8.59. Oh, look, y'all. Dion, <laughs> Dion just got off. You know what? Hold up. And he got some extra money, looks like. So Dion has been promoted to starter. He will now make an additional $20 per hour for a grand total of $86 per hour. So Dion is officially a starter, you guys. He's a step closer to accomplishing his dream of being in the hall of fame let me see um he is 
three steps away, all right? He got three more levels before he could, you know, master this. So he needs to reach level eight of his fitness skill and he needs to study opponents. But right now, baby, this is your opponent because she not in here playing. Like, she <laughs> she is trying to talk herself out of whatever she was finna do because she really trying to calm down. And, oh, why did Kyla just run away from Lauren like that? Lauren came in here and Kyla went away from her. Is it beef between them because of Demario? I don't know. I hope not. But, child, we finna see. We finna see. All right. So, I'm going to have Ebony go ahead and just walk up to him. I'm going to just go talk to him. I'm going to, you know, try to play everything all smooth and, you know, stuff. So, let's see. I'm a friendly... I'm going to, you know what? Let me not, let me go be romantic. Yeah. I'm going to be romantic and I'm going to give him a kiss. So, my ex is single. Yes. I'm going to be like, so, babe, are, are you single? Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Lauren is having a, no, no. She's having a, an emotional meltdown. Are, what the fuck? Both of y'all look angry as hell. You know what? Possible thumbnail. Let me just get low. All right. In the ground. So once Ebony get yeah, through having her little far. emotional met down or whatever, oh, then she gonna go ahead and talk to Dion. Chanuga. Uh oh. All right. So we finna go be romantic with him. Little do he know. <laughs> It's about to go down. So she's not angry anymore. She did calm herself down in the mirror. But we gonna see what Dion say. I wanna know if he gonna lie or if he gonna tell the truth. I'm about scared. You know what? I think I'm gonna have him confess. Cause Dion... Wait, 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 wait. Lauren is going through a phase. She is feeling very rebellious. I told y'all she was rebellious. Didn't I tell y'all? I told y'all. It will seek to challenge parental authority. I don't know, baby. We don't do this in this household. You got the right parents. <laughs> you got the right parents. Uh-uh, nah, Lord. All right. Ooh, little do you know. All right, so let me see. Where is the mean interactions? What he say? Ebony has learned that Dion is married to Ebony. Yeah, that's right. You are married to me. So, since you're not single, what's this I'm hearing about you taking a stripper back to her apartment <laughs> lord let me see okay uh so all right so i see mean i'm going to i don't argue about cheating accused of cheating and then i'm going to argue about cheating and then i'm gonna have dion confess to cheating so let me see um uh, <laughs> Where's the boo? Lord, let me see. All right, so he's feeling miserable because it's hot out here. I need to get them both inside. Oh, Lord, y'all. Let me get them both inside real quick before they freaking die. So I'm going to have them chat here. And they're going to finish having this conversation in the house. Kyla, where the hell do you think you're going? She's trying to go rock climbing. Girl, no, I got that for your daddy. You need to go back in the house. And you need to go do your homework, Kyla. Go sit down. Matter of fact, I'm going to have Ebony and Dion come up to the room because, you know, this is supposed to be for them. This argument isn't for the whole family to see. So, I'm going to have them actually come chat here. And Lauren is angry because what's the point from studying and doing homework? She hates studying or doing homework. So, I'm going to just have Lauren probably turn on some hip hop and kick back and chill. Play. Let's play. Hip-hop. And I'm going to have my girl Kyla come do her. Kyla, get off that rock climber. I told your ass what I want you to do. Why you keep playing with me, girl? I want you to go downstairs and do your homework. That's what I want you to do. So go over here. And then you're going to do your homework. Dominate homework. Yes, ma'am. And now Dion and Ebony is about to finish their little discussion that they was having earlier. Wait, did Dion not follow? And not him saying, you know what? I'm not going to get into this shit. Confident. Wait, wait. Oh, shoot. Accused of cheating. Dion was accused of cheating by their partner. Infuriating. Aggravating conversation. 
Wait, what's this? Strained relationship from cheating being brought up. Dion didn't need that reminder. Another day here. So I'm about to have him go ahead and, you know, confess to cheating, you guys. And I want to see how first I'm going to say I love you. Let her know, Ebony, baby, I love you. And then I'm going to say it again. <laughs> I love you. All right. I love you. Let me see. Romance. I'm going to say, where is it? I'm going to say it again. And then I'm going to confess, y'all. I'm I'm, I'm going to confess. I'm going to do it. Oh, y'all, I'm so nervous. <laughs> I haven't had a Sim confess to cheating on here in, like, forever. So, especially with this mod. So, I'm going to have him confess to having cheated with lyric oh my god it pops up <laughs> okay, 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 okay. not the game recognize that he cheated wait okay 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 <sighs> okay so confess to having cheated with lyric lord i'm scared y'all i don't know how this is gonna affect them and they cannot, they will not break up before they move to LA. I don't want them to break up anyways. All right, so Kyla looks like she's going to have a seat and hopefully get started on her homework, like I told her to. All right, so I guess she's going to do that. And Lauren is in here on the computer. All right, so Dion is, wait. Okay, so Dion is taking care of the baby. That's why he hasn't came up there. He up there trying to be a good father. Trying to show Ebony, look, yes, I messed up in our relationship. But as a parent, I'm still doing what I got to do for hours, you know. <laughs> and Ebony's like, I don't give a <laughs> I don't care. Let me see. All right. So he's finally about to go upstairs and walk into this mess. Dion, you look confident, boy, but you better, you may as well let all that confidence go, all right? Because, baby. Oh, Lord. Okay, okay, okay. Ooh. Ooh, so he confessed. He confessed before he did the other stuff. Oh, my God. Wait. Oh, my God. No. Okay, okay, okay. So Ebony's partner cheated. Ebony's partner just confessed to having woohoo with another. What should Ebony do? Give the relationship and her partner a chance. It's too painful and hopeless. Just break up with them. It's not hopeless, you guys. I know they do love each other a lot. As you guys can see, Dion did mess up, but he invited Ebony out and everything. He wanted her there instead of Lyric. He ended things with Lyric. It was a one time thing all right so i'm going to give the relationship and her partner a chance but you know ebony ebony is the type to get some get back all right so i'm not saying that everything is 100 percent good nothing's good ebony's really hurt she's gonna be really mad for a while and she's probably gonna get over it you know eventually but she's still going to get hers back she's gonna go find her some dude to probably mess around with in the future maybe in la shoot we'll see we will see maybe ebony will hook up with somebody in la y'all oh my gosh i don't know i'm really loving this y'all but we're gonna give the relationship and her partner a chance all right so how is she feeling awesome let me move, see she's enough. really inspired uh -huh. right now what else okay so what is this hope is not lost from giving a second chance only time will tell whether giving that cheater a second chance to be faithful was the right decision or not love is too strong for emily to just turn her back on them without giving their relationship a chance at all okay feeling a close connection it feels great to spend time with someone whom ebony feels a deep connection unfaithful love from learning about cheating ebony's significant other has cheated on her and she thought the relationship was heading somewhere and this one is an unpleasant history from bringing up cheating ebony's history with her partner is less than rosy i guess that's because she brought up the cheating and damaged trust ooh, ooh, uh, from being told about cheating 
Ah, to believe that your most loved one is truthful in their affections, only to hear them say they gave them to another. Be it for the woohoo only, or be it more that than that, cheating is cheating and Ebony's heart aches. Oh my gosh. Okay, so let me see what he has. So, accused, we already read all that. You know what? I think I'm going to get rid of that daredevil trait that I gave him because I feel like it's doing too much. I'm Yeah, it's doing a lot. So, give me a second, y'all. Let me get rid of that trait and I'll be right back. Ooh, y'all, now that I took that off of him, his furious is showing up for sure, all right? So, why is this still here from there? You're not a daredevil no more, baby. Uh, And we got that. Okay, so off the not off the hook. All right, Dia's partner decided to give him a second chance to be faithful. Was this a happy moment? Proud of myself from memory system. Hard work always gets rewarded. I can't believe I got the promotion. Refreshing air conditioner. What's this one? A close connection. A fault confessed. Is a fault confessed to have forgiven? Dion doesn't feel that way right now after confessing to his partner having woohoo with someone else. All right, let me click on her and see if it's more options under that little um the little module that comes with the wellness. What is it? I don't even remember, child. But let me see. Okay, so uh all right, so relationship wellness. Claim to have no regrets. No, 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 no. I'm going to apologize about cheating. Okay, so we can apologize about cheating. And what else? Let's see. Choices. Oh, tell that the affair was only for the woohoo. Promise to not woohoo with others again. Okay, okay, okay. Explain reasons for having cheated. Yo. Reasons? Let me see uh oh shoot staleness and boredom they seduced dion and he failed to resist all right all right so i think i like that one i like that idea because that seems like something that lyric would do so dion wanted to sleep with someone else once in life Ooh, yes dion is committed to and loves his partner but also dion did not want to die having known only one person in bed shallow perhaps no nah, that's not true for him that is not true uh, let's see. Dion couldn't give a single reason why he cheated and just happened. No, 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 no. We're going to say, wait, wait, wait. Ooh, Dion craved more affection and attention. <gasps> Dion cares about his partner and he knows that they care about him too, but not enough. He needs more, more attention, more affection. More time, more everything, so long as it puts him in the center of a person's life. You guys, I think that would actually kind of fall in with this because I feel like since Ebony is always either A, working at the shop, B, trying to be a stylist, or C, trying to be a mother when she's not trying to, you know, give love to Dion, Ebony's always busy. So I kind of feel like this excuse would definitely work and i would love for this to play into the storyline so dion can be like i just needed more affection and attention and i felt like i wasn't getting it from you babe so when i went out to the club that night and she was touching all on me and doing what she was doing i guess i just kind of liked that a little too much and i fell for whatever she was doing because it clearly worked but as you can see I know that there is no other woman out there that's like you, baby, because I could not even keep, you know, I couldn't even keep messing with her. I had to cut it off. I had to get back to you what was real, and I'm sorry, and I will never do nothing like that again. So, I'm a, ooh, ooh, uh, we did <laughs> Let's see. So, Dion craved more affection and attention, and he's going to apologize about cheating. What's she sniffing? Something stinks? Who stinks? Who stinks? What's that smell? All right, so he's giving the reasons. Oh, oh, she don't like that. She's like, attention, affection. Y'all, look at their relationship bar. A streamer has reached out to Dion for a collab. How do I collab? What? How do I do that? Y'all, their relationship bar is gone down. So I'm going to have her ask him to go get tested. 
<laughs> so we both gonna go get tested together and then I'm gonna ask Dion to sever all times. What? Y'all, this mind is amazing. I want Dion to cut that bitch off. All right. You be I better not ever hear anything of you with lyrics. You better I, you you better not even go back to that club, boy. Who are you playing with? So I want you to cut all ties with that hoe. <laughs> Ooh, y'all. Okay, so I'm gonna have her yell at him for cheating. And then I'm going to also have her with those. I have to ask Dion to sever ties with her, like I said, because she just got back up here. And then I'm going to have her. What else? I'm going to ask her to have him and her go get tested. Because I don't know what you got from that hoe. But you better not have brought nothing to me. <laughs> so, we're going to go get tested. If we can. Alright. Oh, Lord. What they got going on? Why you look like that? Like, he looks so sad. Like... Uh, I don't feel bad for you, Dion. Like, I mean, I know you're a good guy at heart, but I don't feel bad for you. Even though the viewers are the ones that made you do it. <laughs> it's the viewers. I'm blaming y'all. <laughs> but, yeah. Let me, um, get an angle. And oh, Lenard, huh? Ooh. Oh, ooh, 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 Okay, okay. What'd he say? He said, I'm leaving this behind. I'm leaving them behind. Mm -mm. Oh, let's start. Bit. <laughs> this thing that went away. Let's start over. You're my partner. Don't worry about them anymore. They're a thing of the past. Oh, okay, okay. I like that. I like that a lot. I like that a lot. <laughs> so she, okay. So I'm guessing that Dion is cutting her off. Okay, and ooh, ooh, ooh. oh, it's a fire! What? And why is it? What? Why is his mama here? What fire? Oh my gosh, y'all! Lord Jesus! No, 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 no! This is not happening right now. We trying to talk about our relationship. We trying to save our relationship. Our house is and oh my god, not our house being on fire. So. The house is finna go up in flames like our relationship at this point. So, I'm gonna have Dion try to extinguish this. Dion, please try to save your mother. Please, please. Ebony, go save Dion's mother. Go save grandma. Go save grandma. Somebody go save See somebody go save grandma. Go save her. No, 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 no. Please, please. This is not the way I want grandma to die. I want her to die of old age. Oh, thank God for the sprinklers. Thank God for sprinklers. Oh my God. <laughs> I didn't even know I had sprinklers in this game. Yo. Thank you. <laughs> the bank's asshole received a thousand dollars as an insurance payment for the items that were that's why you shouldn't be your ass over here anyways, mom. You need to go the fuck home. Alright? Go your ass home. So we just gonna have her go away and oh Lord tomorrow I'm gonna probably have Ebony and Dion just go get tested for STDs and everything like that But y'all I think right now uh, That's enough <laughs> I'm gonna end the episode right here and I will see you guys in the next episode y'all How do y'all think that how long do y'all think it's gonna take before Ebony actually gets over it y'all look at our no replace ugh all this shit got burned up what the fuck okay you know what bye you guys <laughs> make sure y'all give this video a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button yeah if you really want to help your girl out hit that sub button I love you guys and I will see you guys in the next episode So before you even be like, uh, I didn't like that video, guess what? I got way more videos on my channel that you could check out right now, okay? Period.